Hi, I'm Fraser, and today I'm going to show you how to roll out pizza dough. So you get your pizza dough from your kit, you open it up, you flour your work surface, you put a little bit more flour on top, and then you divide the dough. So if you wanted to make two pizzas, you divide it in half. Like that. And then you shape the dough just by trying to shape it into a ball, adding more flour if it sticks. And I'm just using my two pinkies and just dragging underneath the ball just to form a tight little dough ball. And this is important if you want um, this is important if you want a circle pizza. If you don't want a circle pizza, this doesn't really matter. And you can just set that on a plate while we do the next one. So the next step is to get your baking sheet or whatever you're going to bake it on. And you're just going to flour it. So with some of that same flour, just flour it on just so nothing sticks. If you don't have flour, you could use cornmeal, you could use all-purpose flour. This is just a nice rough semolina flour. So you flour that, you set that aside. So again, you flour your work, that work surface. And you almost want to dip your dough ball in more flour just to prevent it from anything sticking. So then at this point, you're going to start to build that crust. So I'm just pushing the center out with my knuckles and just kind of stretching it a little bit while rotating it and expanding it. So now I'm just pulling it and pinching, trying to get it a little bit bigger and the rotating it is key to help with the shape. And then you can go back and forth on your hands and if it gets uneven like that you can stretch out and again remember that the dough shouldn't rip so it's quite forgiving and then just rotating kind of the different methods I'm going to use just making it as circular as I can. And you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Trying to kind of keep that outside crust kind of still pretty plump so it bubbles up nice when you cook it. And before you put the toppings on, it's important to put the, the pizza on the baking sheet just so it's a little bit easier. You just pick it up, pop it on, fix it a little bit. And then you put your toppings on or whatever you want and you pop it in the oven. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.